Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Suikoden, it's Cell 58 And last we left off we went on a little recruitment uh, uh, spree. And uh, I think we're pretty much done here, so I'm just going to do a little bit of exploring around the area just to get acquainted with uh, all these neat little dots and, oh yeah, random encounters. So, even if you can escape these fights with the Holly Fairies, I still recommend fighting them until you get the Nameless Urn. Uh, that way we can recruit our antique guy. Because, yeah, this is the area that you will be able to get it. And you get it by, I'm pretty sure, by fighting these Holly Fairies. I know it says it in one of these books that we'll get later on, but... Memory serves me correct. It's with these guys. Alright. But let's continue on. Let's check out Milch... Mil Milich's... Scar... Scarletta? Scarlita? This pollen is weird. Yeah, well... Obviously. Okay, so yeah, we can't go in here yet. I mean, that's the whole idea, is we're trying to find somebody that can, uh, that can cure that strange pollen. And let's see, the southern border here, that's all locked up. We'll eventually get there. Believe me, we will. <laughs> let's see what's over here. Ah, uh, the Dragon's Den. This is the path to the Dragon Knights. Yeah, or the Knights of the Dragon's Den. So that's where, uh, the... Fulch, if I remember correctly, that's where he is, but we can't go there yet. And, yeah, might as well. Yeah, they're not too tough. They're not as tough as I remember. But yeah, they can do that balloon stuff, so if you have two balloons, you want to pop that with a needle. But for now, we'll be fine. Dang, that was some good damage from both of them. Three and four hundred. And I don't have all their weapons all sharpened up. Alright, let's check the northern border. If we can get out of these random encounters. <laughs> That's okay, it's not too hard. I do have to say, I'm pretty sure I'll say it many times, but Flick's magic is amazing. His magic and his attack, he's just a really good overall character. Yeah, I, I would I would almost say he's better than Victor, and I really like Victor. I mean, Victor's way more physical, don't get me wrong, but I mean, Flick's just a really well-balanced character. We will get a, a couple clones of him. Actually, not too far from now. Probably within like the next like 10 episodes or something like that, but yeah, it's still really good. Okay, so yeah, we can't travel beyond this point, that's fine. And let's see here, yeah, I'll skip that random encounter. Shave off some, some time off this video. But we'll get into another one. whoop it do Mad Ivy. Like I said, that Unite is just too darn good. Unless, of course, you're only fighting one, and then it's kind of useless. But for the random encounters, heck yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta start healing. Well, I'm close to the uh, in in Telly, so I'll just rest up there, and uh, we'll head on to Rikon, just just south. Let's see. Who got the needles? Flick got the needles. Cool. Alright. Alright, now, yeah, I just head on down south. And yeah, Rikon. Or Rikon. And so, in order to continue the storyline, is you just want to go down south here. 
and it's a nice little fun journey. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, there is this island that you can go to with uh, three pirates, and we'll go there a little bit later, but basically you bring Taiho and Yamku, and you fight the three of them, and if you beat them, you can recruit them. <laughs> They're okay, I, I never really used them, but yeah. Okay, what's this world rule? Rapids. So since we just have a little rickety boat, we can't go past it, so we need to figure out how to get past these rapids. Well, it'd be nice if we had a better boat. Or dragon or something. <laughs> something to, to help us move. Of course, that would be too easy. That'd be too convenient. Almost there. All right. What shall we do? We can't go any farther. You think? Okay. So. So well. So if you remember correctly, last episode over at in in Telly. Oh jeez. Why can I never do this? No, no, T T N. Uh, there was Zen, the boat builder, or Jen. Sorry. We need a boat that can beat the rapids, fool. Ooh. Okay. What will we do? And Camdol. These two. Yay. So Jen will join. Get rid of Kai. Well, it doesn't really matter because you're about to get rid of both your selectable characters because it's all story characters. Uh, Jen, he's a decent fighter. I don't use him past the storyline uses, but uh, I, he's, he's a decent short range fighter. Uh, and Camdol is pretty useless. They have a, a decent Unite, which is thankfully useful in this portion because both of them are short fighters. So, yes, if you're doing the math, that's four short fighters uh, in your party. So I recommend moving Camdol to the back row and just using their Unite each time. Neither will go um, unbalanced or anything like that, so you can just keep using it. But, <laughs> this, this part always ticks me off, it's like, come on guys, you know that I can't put all four of them in the front line. At least make, like, Camdol, like, medium, or give him magic. But, I mean, he's pretty lackluster. But, I mean, he's important to the story, I guess. I feel really bad for the story writers because, you know, they have to come up with 108 characters just for you to, like, to, to join you, and then they have to come up with the enemies and stuff, and it's just like, that's really <laughs> tedious. That's why you get all these obscure characters that just, like, gossip or don't really offer much, like, one gives you a map. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they do a good job. And when this first came out, like, when they said you have 108 recruitable characters, like, that was mind-blowing. It's like, yeah, the, the most characters I ever recruited was, you know, Final Fantasy VI. It had, what, 4, 8, 12, 14 characters that you could play with? Uh, bye, Stallion. Great. Now we get to move slowly. So now we have to t take this uh, engine from Tien to, uh, to Rikon. And I'm just going to, uh, yeah, level up their weapons as much as I could. But, uh, the trick, if you don't want to deal with the random encounters, is just use the blinking mirror. Yeah. But while I'm, while I'm here at the castle, I'm just going to try to get some more money and equipment and do all that good stuff. Alright. So, let's go. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Go to the end. Oh, come on. We just teleported. <sighs> yeah, let's call an early night. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, you know, if you raise him from birth, and, you know, he's probably, well, he's definitely there more than uh, Tio ever was, because, I mean, Tio's, you know, working for the Empire, so, yeah, and you don't really think of him as, like, his, I would, I would say more like his uncle or something like that, but still, you know, always be there for him, even if he doesn't need him to be. Alright, so now we'll be able to go over Rapids, which will come into play in eh, just a handful of times in this game. It's okay for now, but uh, the next upgrade that we'll get later on, uh, like the next portion I guess, is uh, it'll be like a speedboat, which that's when I plan on going to that pirate island thing and getting those guys, just because I don't like moving around in that slow boat. Of course, if you ever take this pathway, you won't have the speedboat even if you've earned it. Bam, like it was nothing. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, he's definitely just a hermit, just hanging out. He's not even doing anything. I, I like this character, I like his, his humor. And I like his beard, check that out. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help a Liberation Army out. Very inconvenient. Uh-oh. It... Ah, Milch. Oppenheimer. Of course, he has a dragon. Looks like he's wearing a big mushroom on his head or something. The flower general. Why can't they just make it a girl? Oh well. Gotta love his theme. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peacock man. <laughs> I love this line up here. So you won't let us interfere. <laughs> Take him to my prison. Like hell you will. <laughs> uh, it's a great, great uh, delivery. I do have to say this general is is a lot more interesting than Kawanda was, just because you know he he gets involved. He tries to tinker with you know what you're doing in the game. Yeah, it sucks. We worked all this way down and... Yep. Okay, so, yeah, we have to go back to the castle. Find out what we can do. But before we do that, stop into his little hut. And we get some black paint. Woohoo! You don't need the black paint, but it helps com uh, complete your mural at the castle once you get to the person that's able to paint your mural. But, uh, yeah, what I, 
was saying about Oppenheimer. You know, he, he tries to interfere where Kawanda really didn't do that. You know, it was just the mirror and then we stormed his his prison or his fortress. So mm -hmm. but before we go talk to Matthew, I wanna at least recruit one character. Well I guess we, we have Jen and uh Kamel Kamel Dole, whatever his name is. But we get uh, Lot's cat. And if you remember, Lot is at the inn in Rikon. So let's go there real quick. Deliver her cat and she'll join us. Not too shabby. Zap. Like I said, it's so useful having that teleport. I'm gonna have to get the holy rune. This is driving me crazy now going back to the slow pace. Mm-hmm. Cool. Nice and yeah, she's a decent magician. I've never really used her. But uh you know, she does definitely help for the uh, wars. I think she she joins luck. Or like a magician, so your magician attack will go up even more now. So that's that's pretty cool. And now we'll go talk to Matthew. But you know, this this episode's getting kind of lengthy, and uh, next portion is pretty important to the story. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right before talking to Matthew. And next episode, we will uh, hopefully save Lucan and. Uh, and storm that prison. Till then, this is L58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.